Yo guys, what is up? Painting Game 4016 today. Really man? You just gonna bomb, bomb a video like that, are we? Whatever, but... Uh, roadblock, end of the line. Are you serious, WWE, once again, ending the paper? This is why Raw is so much better. I oh, know, sorry. Fuck Raw. It's like Smackdown is Sunshine. I know TLC ended like that, but it was fucking James Ellsworth. Yet you have Chris Jericho, Codebreaker, Kevin Owens there, so then Kevin Owens can win and he retains the title. And Roman got Scoffer. That makes no sense because he could have just Codebreakered Reigns. Reigns could have won. And then Owens would have retained the title still because you can't win a title by DQ. It literally makes no sense. I reckon, you know, tomorrow on Raw, which is, you guys are Raw's, you know, in a few hours when this video's being uploaded. But, I reckon Jericho will just tr just come out, you know, you know, Owens will come out start off with a thank you to my best friend, Chris Jericho, and Chris Jericho come out, and then Chris Jericho will just fucking code break at Owens, and then... Yeah, we'll have probably have a fatal four way for the title at the Rumble, I'm guessing. Now everyone thinks Seth is gonna be in the Rumble and win the Rumble. People are saying that. Others are saying Bella, others are saying Goldberg. I'm saying John Cena still. So because apparently the hmm, because apparently the Styles and Ziggler match is meant to air on the twenty seventh. So this week on no next the last match now of the year. And obviously Styles will return. Hopefully this week Styles is good to compete and Ellsworth will get his title shot. And so that's done with the Universal title picture. I hate WWE right now. I'm sick and tired of pay per views ending like that. But anyway, like Jericho, they're not friends again. It makes no sense. Like, for Jericho to code break Owens so then Reigns gets disqualified and Owens keeps the title. If he code breaked freaking Reigns, Owens would have still kept the title. So there obviously is something there. So I reckon Fatal 4 for the title at the Rumble. And I'm gonna go for Roman to win for that one if it happens. Or Seth. I reckon Jericho's taking it. I reckon Arnold's will retain. I reckon it's time for a new Universal Champion. Or, or if Bala wins the Rumble, Arnold's can retain at WrestleMania. Bala versus Arnold. I think we've already seen that match. But anyway, who cares though? None of that. That's it. Next, the other main event, if you will, the women's match. It was a good match, I'm not going to lie, but to have Banks tap out in the last couple seconds so they draw it and have a sudden death is fucking stupid, for starters, and then to have Charlotte go on to take the title, what the fuck WWE, alright, I'm sick, so she what, 15 on singles matches at pay-per-views. And she's 15 and 2 at pay-per-views at like full on for, for a whole career that is freaking stupid what the hell WWE I know there isn't meant to be a rematch but there'll fucking be a rematch tomorrow fucking Banks will win it and then the Royal Rumble you know I'm sick of it and they were saying they legitimately said at the start of the match they've had six women's matches for the women's championship in a row and at the start of the match, said it changed five times, and this was the sixth match. It's changed six fucking times. What the fuck? You don't have that. Alright, this is almost as bad as fucking. Oh, damn, we've got to think of things here. Like, it's not as bad as anything, really. It's almost as bad as Reigns winning the title three times in freaking a few months. But anyway, we'll get to the match. Banks should have kept, so what, so I guess Banks is out of the title picture now, I don't know, but I thank you guys so much for watching this video, let me guys know what you thought of the pay-per-view, let me know what you guys thought of the pay-per-view down in the comments below, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, I'll see you guys all later.